वेलकम टू डिफेंस एंड स्पेस न्यूज टीवी इफ यू नॉट सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल देन सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट द बेल आइकन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अनवेन वेरिएंट ऑफ तेजस एंड आल्सो अपडेट अबाउट इंडिया वांट टू ऐड मोर फायर पावर टू सोवियत एरा एम46 फील्ड गन्स सो लेट्स बिगिन टुडेस वीडियो इंडिया हैज स्टार्टेड वर्क ऑन डेवलपिंग अनवेन कॉम्पैक्ट वर्जन ऑफ द होम ग्रोन लाइट कॉम्पैक्ट एयरक्राफ्ट एलसीए with the new task group being constituted to study how to convert the fighter for a futuristic role a team has already started work on the project to convert the lca into a drone and india's aircraft manufacturer hindustan aeronautics limited hal is confident that the project can be carried out within a short time hal chief said we have started an initial study on making a unmanned combat aerial vehicle ucav on the tejas platform Besides we are confident on coming up with an unmanned version of Chetak helicopter as well. The Indian Air Force has already placed orders 123 LCA Tejas and Hal is targeting a gap of 200 fighters that the Indian Air Force will face in coming years. An unmanned version of LCA would be used for cross border strikes. That mission that plays a high risk on pilots in case of ditching the enemy territory. India is also working on project named Aura. to make a futuristic combat drone that would be powered by a modified version of the Kabir engine the drone however is several year away as the project is still at the design stage while unmanned lca would be no match for futuristic stealth drone officials pointed that converting a flying platform into an autonomous unit would be a faster and cheaper short term option for example the us uses unmanned f16 fighters for the aerial target practice Next update India to add more firepower to Soviet era M46 field guns a government official told Sputnik that the field guns that were acquired in 80s from the Soviet Union will become 300% more lethal than the present form the upgraded gun will be delivered the Indian army by 2022 India's Ministry of Defense has approved upgrading of Indian army's Soviet era 130 mm caliber M46 field guns to the 155 mm caliber model. The upgraded works estimated to cost about 28 million dollar. That will be carried out by the state owned Ordnance Factory Board. According to a government official, the contact by outbidding to foreign players who had partnered with local private sector companies, all upgraded guns will be supplied to Indian Army by 2022. The Ordnance Factory Board will replace the barrel and breech block and added a new system of the gun. It will be 100% indigenous work which saves a vital foreign exchange of the country. The Indian Army had floated a tender in 2013 for upgrading the lethality of 300 out of 1000 M46 guns. The guns will acquire a range over 38 km of range after the upgrade. The Defence Ministry selected the state-owned Ordnance Factory Board on the basis of greater capability in terms of direct fire, the rate of fire, accuracy and consistency. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe and stay with us.